Hello everyone, welcome to this week's edition of Telegraph Herald, More Than the Score. I am your host Steve Ortman, and we have a first this week, ladies and gentlemen. For the first time ever, Mike Steffens is here to join me on the show. Mike, you're a great worker here at the TH, do a lot for the sports department. How you doing? Doing well then. Yeah? You excited to be on the show? I could tell. All right. Well, uh, welcome to this week's episode. Uh, obviously, Mike's excited. I don't know what to tell you here, folks. I'm going to do the best I can. We've got some great sports action going on this week. Baseball, softball, both those writers, Tim O'Neill, Jim Leitner, they're busy out covering games. So it's myself and Mike, who I get the feeling might not be the greatest help in this episode. We're going to try to recap what's gone on for you <laughs> this past week. You ready to go, Mike? You don't say much, do you? All right, well, it's good to have you on board. Anyways, we're going to start in softball. Two local teams this close to making the state tournament, but their seasons came to an end earlier this week. Dyersville Beckman, Monday night, they played Iowa City Regina, hosted them in a Class 2A regional final, and the Trailblazers fell to Iowa City Regina 5-0. to zero. Trailblazers were trying to make it to state for the first time in program history. Uh, just couldn't get the timely hits. And uh, Beckman did finish the season at 30 and 12. They're going to lose just two seniors on this squad, so you definitely can expect uh, the Trailblazers to be backed as far as softball goes. They've got a hard goal to, to get down to state. Also, Dubuque Hempstead, right here. It says it right here. This is, these are my notes. Dubuque Hempstead, on Tuesday night, they played a Class 5A regional final. Feel free to chip in if you want, Mike. They lost to uh, Cedar Rapids Jefferson. 6-2, 5A regional final down in Cedar Rapids. Uh, Mustangs took the lead in that game, so they're in it to the end. But uh, Jefferson, just a little too much firepower, pulled away for the 6-2 victory. Hempstead also was looking for their first trip to the state tournament. They finished the season 24-18. and So a couple of great seasons there for Hempstead and Beckman. This close to state, but they just couldn't quite get past that last hurdle, Mike. You're talking about them being this close? I, okay, I hope so. And uh, anyway, then you're going to move on. <laughs> okay, sorry about that, folks. We've composed ourselves. Mike, settle down, okay? We're moving on to baseball. Things are just getting heated up on the baseball side of things this week. Uh, Dubuque Sr., Waller, Hempstead, all going to get going here in postseason play. But uh, lower classes, things are already underway. Cascade this week just picked up a 10-0 victory over Comanche in five innings in a 2A district. Uh, Bryce Simon grinded his way to a two-hit shutout. The Cougars advanced to 24-7. and They'll be hosting Northeast Goose Lake on Saturday night for the Class 2A District Championship. So Cougars are on fire, looking to do some damage in their district, looking for a district title on Saturday night. Mike, comments? Yep, they're doing well. Yep, two thumbs up. Mike gives you two thumbs up, Cascade Baseball. And uh, also, Western Dubuque getting ready for postseason play. They just right, wrapped up the outright WAMAC Conference Championship with a sweep of Marion earlier this week. So the Bobcats are certainly going into the postseason with some momentum. The Bobcats enter postseason play with a 31-6-1 overall record and a 26-3 record they finished with in conference. Mike, what can you say about that? I mean, just a great run for the Bobcats in there. They're really playing well here as they enter the postseason. <laughs> Bob Bobcat crawl. Oh, that was very nice. Very nice addition. Do you want to say anything or no? Okay. All right. Well, uh, so anyway, softball, baseball action. Hopefully, if we're lucky, Tim O'Neill and Jim Leitner will join us uh, next week. Not that you haven't been great, but they can go a little more in depth on this uh, since they're out there covering the games themselves. So I think that's going to do it for this week's episode, Mike, of Telegraph Herald. More than the score. I am your host, Steve Wartman, alongside me. Mike Steffens. That's very sweet. We'll see you next week. You stay good looking, Dubuque.